go. Well, let's get into it. All right. So just just to start, just how I mean, I haven't seen you in a while. So you were at Too Oak long. Mountain. Too long. You were at Oak Mountain till 2020. Right. Last three years at Scottsboro. How's yeah. how's life been treating you in those last few years? Uh, they were good. The um you know, I, I think you know we enjoyed our time up there. It um, it was um, you know the tough thing there was, and and I don't you know you, you sit there and you look at you know when we when, when we left Oak Mountain, it was uh, we weren't you know there there was no you know wasn't dissatisfied with anything there. I, I think it was just one of those things where you're saying I you know let, let's let's find another challenge. Um, and you know, and if, if I, I was getting to that point where I'm thinking if I if I'm going to do something new, I did, now's probably the time to do it. I, 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 it's not something I wanted to do when I'm, you know, sixty years old. So let's let's do it. You know, while I still you know feel you know young, and of course I'm now fifty seven and and um, and changing, and it's you know, and I feel I feel good now. You know, and one of the things, you know, I had that you know I had that issue with my back back in in 2016 and. You know, that, that was, I still, it's, it's one of those deals where I, I, since 2016, each year I have felt better. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and I, it, it's one of those things where I, as I feel better, I'm getting older, but I'm feeling better, but I'm, you know, I go back and I'm like, God, I was really in pretty pitiful shape in 2016 after I came out of that deal. And uh, so that's been, you know, that's been encouraging uh, from from that vantage point, because I do, even though I'm getting older, I do feel, you know, like I still have, you know, a lot to give, and and, and I feel like I'm having more to give each, as each year passes. Um, but you know, we just it's one of those deals where you're thinking, all right, not have we, you know, not not have we done all that we can do at Oak Mountain, but just it, it was more of a, you know, just if, if we're going to try, if, if we want to get something and, and do something different and you know, I'd, I'd always, you know, always been in Trev, worked in a couple of small town situations, not as the head football coach, but I, I've, I've been an assistant, um, you know, and, and, and have always been intrigued by that and uh, loved the area up there. It, it was, you know, it, it reminded me growing up in Virginia, it, it reminded, you know, me of, of, of home in, in that sense. Uh, although Birmingham, in all honesty, Birmingham has, has probably become home and certainly is to my children uh, that they would consider Birmingham home. Um, but um, the, the the administration that hired me in March, April of, of 21, they were all gone before I ever coached a ball game. So there was wow. a, um, you know, we ended up with a you know new new principal, new superintendent. And, you know, for, for whatever reason, they're just, you know, you know, we didn't, uh, you know, didn't jihad. I mean, thought we, you know, we, we were doing things well, um, you know, I never had a crossword with anybody in the administration. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like we had good relationships, but it just, uh, you know, one of those deals where, you know, they didn't view me as a good fit and that's, you know, that's fine. And, um, you know, so it, we had known for, you know, at least a year uh, that my time up there was probably going to be, you know, it wasn't going to be as long as we thought it was going to be. And uh, so we started, um, you know, you know, looking, but then, let, let me, let me back up though. You told me we had, I thought we had a great run up there uh, with good kids Um and and they just you know the the one thing that I, I I just really appreciated the group that we had we got there in twenty one and we were not a good football team now that's you know Don Jacobs was before me COVID hit them hard and the the, the nineteen season Don and them had gone I think they went nine and three and um, you know and and had a, had a, had a, you know it, it, he had been. He had a good first three years, and then COVID just they they went, finished two and eight. They didn't finish the season though; they had to forfeit the last two ball games. Okay. And Don left, you know, after the season, and they went a long time without a football coach. And when I got there, I don't know that I, 
if, if I had it to do over again, there's a few things I'd have done differently that first year. But that first year, we were, I mean, there there were times when I'm thinking, Chris, do you even have any idea how to coach football? Uh, because we were not, uh, we we were not good. But those kids hung in there and 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 just um, you know continued to do everything we asked them to do. And and um, and I thought, you know, the the 22 season and, and certainly this past season, 23. You know they they had fully bought in. They 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 gave phenomenal effort every day, and and uh, certainly had uh, had a lot of success, particularly on offense this past year. And it was just uh, it, they they were a fun fun group to coach. Uh, but when the season ended, I knew that you know I, I probably needed to be you know at least checking some things out. Uh, sure. And then after Christmas, I I had to be checking some things out because I was told that uh, I, I was not going to be there, and. Um, and that's and, and that's wild. Like if you just look at, like if you're a person that just looked at trajectory based on record stuff, because I mean you get there, and now I know some of this has to do with reclassification, and y'all went back down to five right, A right. in 2022. But I mean three and seven first year, then you go up to seven and five, and then last year eight and three, and scored a boatload of points. Like yeah. you said, I'm looking at 423 points in 11 games. I mean, trajectory was there. Well, and it did again, it just was, it was, it just was a fit deal, I guess, you know, and again, I can't, you know, I can't speak for anybody else, but it's, it's the nature of the business and, and it's, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And, um, you know, I certainly don't have any, you know, I don't have any hard feelings. Um, you, you know, when, when we, when we sign up for this, it's, you know, you, you know, this stuff can happen and, um, it, you know, it's, 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 um, you know, they're going to do, and then and, and you would expect I, I, you know, anybody that's in charge, you know, they're, they're, they're in charge for a reason and they've got to, you know, they've got to feel good about the people that they have. And, um, you know, and so, you know, I, I, there's no animosity on my part. It, you know, just, it's just, it's just how that, I always it's say, it's like the big, you know, you just, you just got to go with it. So, uh, but we, it, the funny thing is, is, you know, after the season was over and, and, and you start looking and uh, there's a few jobs that, that, that I inquired about. And uh, the, the job down here was just really intriguing to me because it, they just had been, you know, bad. I mean, you lose 24 games in a row and that's that, 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 that not a whole lot, you know, there's not a whole lot more you can say about that. I mean, it's, you know, at, at some point you, you feel like, you know, a blind man's going to find a, you know, He's going to find, you know, what he's looking for at some point if he looks long enough and, and, and you just, um, you know, but it's, it was just, um, I think the thing that of, of the head coaching jobs I've had, uh, I had one in Virginia, one in Georgia, and then this is my third here. The Scottsburg job was the, I mean, it's really the only job I had that just wasn't, everything was in place at Scottsboro. I mean, again, Don is a, I mean, shoot, Don's a heck of a football coach and, 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 and did a good job there. Um, again, they just had that one, you know, the COVID just, you know, jumped up and, and, and bit them. And, um, the, um, Oak mountain program though, was, was pretty down when we got there. I, I, my, I was at a private school in Georgia and then we opened the school. So it was brand new. So everything, you know, I tell people we we opened through the tenth grade. My first team is a JV bunch. We had eighteen kids out, three of whom had played varsity, had played any organ, not varsity, organized football, and two of those it had been eight man football. So I had out of the out of eighteen kids, I had one guy that had played uh, had played eleven man, you know, wow. legit high school football. Uh, now he ended up um, Jordan Aikens is his name. He ended up being a uh, he got drafted in baseball. And then uh, played a little bit there and then ended up going to Central Florida. And as a, he was a quarterback for us, he ended up being a tight end for them and then played with the Texans. And I believe is still with the Browns right now. I, don't, I, I believe he's still going to camp this summer. So, uh, so that one kid was, he was pretty special, but uh, the, uh, you know, it, it was, uh, that was that. And then my first job was at uh, James River High School outside of Richmond in Virginia. And they, it, it was a newer program, um, and, and then I think I got there in year six of the school, the first five years, I think 
they had won maybe nine games, maybe 11, but two of the wins, whether it was nine or 11, two of the wins were by forfeit. So they were, uh, they, they had been, uh, I think their best year maybe had been two and eight at one point. Um, and, um, you know, we, we, you know, we came in and had success early, had, had a good group of kids though to do it with. And, you know, but those jobs have just, you know, I, I, I like tough jobs and, and for what we do offensively, it, it kind of, you know, it, 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 it marries up to that. And then, I mean, shoot, I, you know, people say, well, Chris, would you ever do something different? Well, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I, there's times where I, I look at it and say, yeah, we, we could be different and, and whatnot. But the thing I love about, you know, what we do and, 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 and the system we run offensively is that it's, it's, it's 100% you've got to be selfless. You can't be a selfish player in our system and, 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 and be successful. Um, and when we talk about, you know, what's our role as football coaches, well, we're really just educators and, and, and when we're here to develop young men and, you know, I, I think, you know, that idea of being selfless, I, I still think that that's a value that, that folks ought to aspire to. And so we want to do things that, um, you know, that, that, lend themselves, you know, to those values. So, um, you know, so it's, that's why, I mean, again, but I, you know, my wife, you know, she, she fusses at me all the time, you know, Chris, could, could you just do something different? I mean, I, you know, and I'm like, well, honey, it, um, and maybe, maybe one day, it, uh, maybe, maybe one, one day, day we'll but, uh, you know, and it's, um, I just was intrigued by it. I met, came down and, and had an opportunity to meet Shay White, who's our principal and, and just uh, was really impressed with him. And, and he, you know, he'd only been here. I think when I met him, he had just finished up. We met in January, about the second week of January, when we had that cold snap. Um, schools had shut down. Uh, that Tuesday, I, I drove down and we met. There's no school. We met. And, um, and he was very honest, you know, and just, I mean, he said, and that was one of the things he was doing. Anybody that was interested in the job, he, they had to come on campus and meet with him because he, he wanted to show them. He didn't want anybody to be surprised by what they saw, you know, after they were off of the job. He, he didn't want somebody to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, he, he didn't tell me this. So he, he was pretty he, – he was brutally honest about a lot of things. And, uh, and, and I just – I appreciated, you know, just the transparency there. And, uh, but I think more so I just I appreciated the challenge. And, uh, and it is. It's, it's, it's by far going to be the biggest challenge I've ever – taken on and um you know i tell people that the, the only job more difficult is being a parent but um this one's gonna be this one may rival that one but uh, we've got good kids and spring's been good um uh, you know we, we've still got a we've, we've still got a lot of you know a lot of rows to hoe before we can you know, even really even even start throwing the seed down, and, and before we even worry about harvesting anything. But uh, but it you know the the kids we've come a long way. So my first day on campus was February seventh, and and uh, we we've we've they've come a long way in in that time. And and uh, I don't know what it's going to mean for us this fall, uh, other than our kids are going to compete. You know, their brains out. And that, that's the thing we want to do. We want we want to compete for four quarters and. Um, you know, get 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 our guys to to understand what what playing hard for forty eight minutes is all about, and um, and then we'll let the uh, we'll let the chips fall where they do. Yeah, what are some of those like? Like, I mean, obviously twenty four losses in a row. You mentioned that, but you step on campus February seven. What are some of those challenges at Robertsdale? Well, I mean, facility wise, we're behind. Um, I, I told you before we started, I mean, there, there wasn't a head coach's office, uh, the field house, the weight room. It, um, I mean, it's, it's just, uh, it, it was in, um, I'm not going to say disrepair, but cause that'd be, that'd be overly dramatic, but it was certainly inadequate. Uh, the weight equipment while, you know, serviceable. It's, I mean, it, it's probably, I mean, shoot, this, the building itself, I think, opened in 93. It, it may be the same weight equipment they had since 1993. And uh, so it just, you know, there, there, it, it, you know, it needs a makeover. We're working on that. Just the locker room um, in and of itself, just, just not, um, Again, inadequate would be the the best way to say it. Now, the, the county has been uh, – they've stepped up and, you know, they're helping us do um, 
do some things to, to, to kind of get caught up. Uh, they, they've, they've, you know, just done a lot in, in this, in, in, in the field house to, to get there. Now, one of the tough things right now is I don't have a practice field. So uh, I'd been here a month and, uh, Mr. White gives me a, uh, he, he shot me a text. I was actually off campus tr- trying to find furniture for my, for the office that we, we now have. And, uh, he says, Hey, I need you to stop by the, my office when you get back on campus. I said, yes, sir. And I pull into campus and, uh, there's a bulldozer on the practice field and, uh, they're, they're putting in a, an addition and put an auxiliary gym in and uh, there's going to be a, a, a new weight room band facility, whatnot. Well, they're, they're losing a parking lot because of that addition. Well, they're taking the practice field and making that a parking lot. So uh, what's that song? They took paradise and made it a parking lot. That's kind of, that's kind of how I feel like right now. And it's uh, so we, we had to bus over to the stadium every day uh, to practice. So, you know, you just got things like that and, and we're, you know, we're working on a fix, but we're having to think outside the box. And, um, you know, there's just a lot of, a lot of those, uh, there's days where I feel like I'm, I'm just in a, in a, in a perpetual episode of the twilight zone. It just, it just keeps around and around and around. Uh, but like I said, the good thing is our, our kids, they, they have, they have been, um, they've done everything we've asked of them and more. They, they, they've really, um, they, they're, they're buying in. Uh, and, and, you know, the thing we've got to get our numbers up. I think, you know, we, we finished spring practice on Monday and we finished with, with 71, 72 kids. Uh, we were hoping to be a, above 80. Um, you know, we got a small senior class or junior class isn't, isn't big. It's, you know, we're, we're getting a little bit bigger as we get down the line, but, you know, I mean, it's just, there's, there's not a whole lot for kids to be excited about when it comes to football because of where you are. And so what, what has amazed me, you know, while I'd like to have more kids in the program and, and we're going to need more kids in the program and, and we're going to get there. We've got a decent sized freshman class. Uh, we've got, you know, the kids in the eighth grade class next year's eighth grade class. We've got good numbers there. Um, but what has surprised me in a positive light is the, why you would think that these kids would just be, I'm surprised anybody wants to play. I mean, because when you get beat that much, I mean, that's hard on your sight. Sure. And they have, um, they've been excited. I mean, you know, the one thing I, I, I noticed, and there's, you know, Dusty Coleman was on, he's, he, we're retaining him on staff. Um, Marshall Ballard, who's, who's he's trying, we're trying to keep him on staff. He's, he's moving back to Mississippi, which is his home. But when I got here, they were kind of running things. And, and the one thing that did impress me when I got here was even with them, and then they, they'd been, you know, because, you know, they, they made the coaching change midseason. So, you know, they, they had an interim and they, you know, they, they were moving forward. But I, I just the, – the kids, you, you could see from the beginning, they were working hard. I mean, you know, when, when I got here, that's the one thing that, that was a positive. I mean, they were – you know, the, they, they, the effort was there. And so, you know, when you've got kids that are, you know, when, when, when they're given effort, you got a chance. And then now we're trying to get them to understand, you know, given effort in all areas, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, you got to show up first, you got to get physical effort. You got, you know, you got to do that, but now we got to make sure we're there mentally and we're given that mental effort. I think some you know, the, the, the biggest critique from the kids would have been, you know, while, while they were going through the motions, now they were getting after it going through the motions, but there, there wasn't any, you know, they, they were just like robots. Just, I'm just, yeah. I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to do. Um, and I think, you know, we're starting to see uh, a flip in that. I mean, just in how we approach things in the weight room, you know, how we, how we're going through our workouts. Do I really, you know, all right, this is, this is the weight I'm supposed to have on the bar. So I'm going to make sure I have it on the bar as opposed to, well, my buddy's lifting this. I'm just going to lift this because yeah. it's on the bar and I don't have to think about, you know, he may be doing 185. I may be supposed to be doing 175. Well, I mean, I, it's too much effort for me to take his 25 off and, and put two tens on on either side and, and whatnot. So, so we're getting out of that. And, um, you know, it, uh, you know, we finished up, you know, it, it was sloppy. I mean, we, we made a lot of mistakes on the field. It, it was particularly on offense. I mean, we, um, 
I mean, there, there were a couple of days where I was thinking, are we ever even going to be able to just, just get this quarterback center exchange down? It, it was um, – we, we couldn't run a play without the ball falling on the ground at all. Um, and, we, and we were able – we did a little inter-squad scrimmage at the end. And, and um, you know, we, we were able to actually, you know, run facets of the offense and, and uh, get there. But, the, again, the energy level, the enthusiasm, um, that, that, that's there. And so we, we were – wow – in, in a lot of ways, it feels like, you know, we're on one side of the Grand Canyon and we got to get to the other side. And it just, you know, that that that's a huge chasm that you're trying to cross. Mm-hmm. When you look at other areas, you think, all right, well, if we can just if we can just get this, you know, get this little adjustment here, um, we're, we're a lot closer maybe than we think. And, yeah. um, you know, so, again, we're not going to go out there and go 10 and 0, but uh, but but we're, we're a lot closer to being to be in a, a competitive, you know, 7A football program, which is what we need to be first. Yeah, and that's what I was going to bring up. So, like, y'all are moving up to 7A for the first time after, obviously, some struggles of seasons, and then it's like, oh, by the way, now you're going to move up into 7A. Like, for you, you mentioned the roster, wanting it to be in the 80s. It's at 71, 72 but now you are one of the 32 or so largest high schools in terms of enrollment. How hard are you going to be recruiting the hallways? Well, you know, we are, but it's one of those things where you've got to get out in the hallways, but it's going to be, I really think it's until we start showing that things are different, it's going to be hard to get anybody that hasn't been in it to buy in. You know, it's, it's one of those things people got to, they got to see, taste and feel. And, um, you know, we can talk intangibles. We can say, Hey, this is what we're going to do. But here's the thing, you know, some of these older kids that are walking these halls, they're like, yeah, people have been saying that for a long time. You know, what, 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 what makes me different than anybody else? I mean, you know, they've, you know, no coach takes over a program like this. No coach takes over a program like this and thinks, I ain't going to be able to get it done. Everybody thinks they're going to be able to get it done. Everybody comes in, by and large, probably with a pretty good plan. So when, when you're looking at it from the kids, you're looking at it from the community, you know, what's going to make you different? We, we, you know, human nature, we have a tendency to be a little cynical. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of cynicism when it comes to our football program. And I'm going to say it's been earned because that's, that, that's, that's, you know, what's taking place. And so, you know, the only thing I've said is, I, and, and, and Mark Freeman helped me come up with, with, with this deal is, man, give me six months. If, if, if we're not better in six months, go ahead and, and, and you can stay cynical, but let, let's see where we are in six months. And we're about halfway through that six months. And, you know, I, I think the kids certainly that are in the program are seeing the difference. And, uh, and, and again, it's going to be one of those things where, and, and, I, and, and I've, I've said this, it's going to get worse before it gets better. The thing is, when we, when we get, we're, we're going to see some progress, and, but there's going to be a dip. There always is. What do you do when you hit that dip? Now, that dip may come this year. It may come next year. I, I, it may come next week. I don't know when it's going to come, but it's going to come. Well, when it does, you can't lose your guts. I mean, you, you've got to come in and say, hey, what's your plan? Um, you know, I read this from Coach Bryant years and years ago. He said, man, you've got to have a plan, and then you've got to stick to the plan no matter what. They're, they're, you know, have that plan be well thought out, but but you can't lose your guts when 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 it starts to you know when it starts to go sideways, and and that's the thing that we're going to do. And that that was you know I go back to my time at Oak Mountain, and it's you know the nine years I spent there was the longest we spent anywhere, and and there were other again I had the health issue there that that I, I probably downplayed, and looking back in hindsight. It, there were things I, it did affect me. I, I did it there. There was about a three year window there where I just did a bad job coaching. Um, the difference is at, after that 2018 season where I feel like I, I owe every one of those seniors a, a, a huge apology because that I, I should, I, now I should have been fired after the 2018 season. I did a miserable job that year. I went to um, Dr. Sayers was our principal. I went into our office after the season and I said, doc, I said, 
do you still want me to be your football coach? And she's looking at me like I'm crazy. And I said, what are you talking about? I said, doc, look, if I was in your shoes, I'd, I would be seriously considering getting rid of me right now. Cause I did a miserable job last year. And, um, you know, we talked and, and she said, I, I said, look, if you want me, I need, I need you to allow me to do these things. And, and what we did was we just reevaluated the entire program. What do we need? What had, what had we been doing? Well, what had we gotten away from? Um, why had we gotten away from it, you know, et cetera. And, and, and in 2019, 2020, we started, you know, making that ground back up yeah. um, that I lost in that, you know, 2016, 17, 18. And that's the thing, because you're going to have, unless you're, you know, unless you're, I'm going to say Thompson, Hoover, you know, these schools that have 2,000, 2,500, almost 3,000 kids, you know, they're, you're going to have numbers. If you're a smaller 7A school or even, even a bigger 6A school, th there's going to be an element with few exceptions where, I mean, you're going to, your talent's going to be cyclical to a degree. Well, what we're trying to do is when the cycle is down or just mediocre, that's not an excuse to not go out and maximize your potential. And I think, you know, you can't look at it and say, I didn't do a bad job coaching in 2018 because we were two and eight, but we were two and eight because I did a bad job coaching. Now, I've also had years, 2013, I thought was one of my better years coaching. We went four and six, but that four and six and that group, I will always, that senior class, Really, I mean, because they had to weather the storm. You know, we had some success that first year, and then we had some storm, and that group weathered the storm, and they hung together. And then the next year, we're ten and two, and when when everybody's saying, "Hey, y'all be lucky to win three ball games this year," and and we go yeah. ten and two, but it was really because of the, the what that group prior had done, and um, you know, so we've. We've got to get these kids to understand that. And there's a level of maturity that comes with that. And, and it's, um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a tough, it's a tough ask for a 50 year old. It's a real tough ask for, for a 16, 17, 18 year old. And, uh, but these kids have, you know, like I said, I, I've been tickled to death with them. Um, I love being around them. We just, we, today was our, we just finished testing. We finished practice on Monday. Uh, we, we were testing the weight room Monday, Tuesday, and today. And, I mean, the, the excitement, the, the 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 level of gains that we've seen. Um, I mean, it's 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 fun. It's it, they're they're a fun group because everything is to a certain degree everything's new for them, and and they're just they're 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 jumping on it, and um, and and responding in a great way. We've got a, I, I do think we have a really good coaching staff that we're putting together. They haven't all been able to be here this spring. Uh, but we'll get everybody here this summer, and, and 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 we've got some guys that I think are. I know that they're really going to pour into these kids, and these kids are going to eat it up. And and um, and that's you know that that's the thing. I, we had a parent meeting last night, and you know I, I I've been doing this long enough now to to have seen you know a, you know probably at least two plus generations of kids kind of come through, and you know, kids haven't changed. I mean, our, our kids, you know that they're just as, as hard working as I was when I was a kid. And they're just as, you know, deviant as I was when I was a kid and then, and, and probably just as lazy. I mean, it's, you know, we've changed as parents, I feel like to a degree, but sure. kids haven't changed. And, and, you know, I, 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 you know, we work kids. I was talking with a coach up in, in North Alabama. We, we were talking about this uh, during the season at one point, you know, what we ask of our kids today is a whole lot more than what was asked of me when I was playing in the, in, in the early eighties, as far as just your commitment across the board and these kids, they, they step up and, and, and they get such a, such a bad, you know, rap just on, you know, every, every, every generation, the older generation wants to put down the younger ones, but, uh, but our kids, I, I just, I am tickled to death with these guys here and, and look, they, 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 there's times I want to, you know, pull my hair out and, I have to keep all, you know, sharp objects and firearms away from me because it, you know, I, I'd be afraid of what I do, but they're, I love them. They're, they're great to be around. And, and, um, you know, they, they keep a 57 year old a lot younger than, than, than he probably is. What is, what, what is the community of Robert Stell like? Like, I've, like, 
I know you're kind of situated. What you're surrounded by? What Foley, Daphne, Fairhope, some yeah. other areas? Well, it's really so. It's, I mean, really, we're we're kind of you know the high school is Robertsdale High School, but it's the central Baldwin area. It's kind of like you know Baldwin County is Baymanette, but you've got that whole. Yeah north end of the county I look i'm still learning i'm you know people said hey did you come down here because of the beach i'm not a beach person so i, I <laughs> you know, they're like oh that's great you're getting down there by the beach i'm like i could care less about the beach it uh, it's nice i mean i you know it's not like now i've been one time and that was just to eat so i haven't you know i haven't even been to the beach uh i haven't even stepped foot in my i haven't stepped on sand yet um but we just went down to eat but uh where'd the, you eat uh, at Tacky Jack's out towards Fort Morgan. So went out nice. there, had friends from Birmingham that uh, they were down over spring break and uh, they called, they called me and my wife and asked if we wanted to go eat. And it, it was a, uh, we had a blast. It, it was good to, to see them and, and connect. And um, now they, they were, they, their son was a senior on that 2018 team. So I've, I've owed them a lot of apologies because we, we should have done a better job with, with them. But uh, the, um, the community. So you've got Robertsdale, you've got Loxley, you've got Silver Hill, you've got Elsinore, and you've got Rosenton, and and I and I guess really Seminole, you know, which you're getting to Florida, but you got all those little communities that are feeding in here, and you know, so in, in a sense, it's it's similar to what I had at Oak Mountain, where you know you were surrounded by Pelham, you were surrounded by Hoover. Uh, and, and you had uh, Chelsea and, and whatnot, and you had Oak Mountain, which is an unincorporated Shelby County. So, wow. you know, we didn't have that, you know, one identity, city identity to to cling to. And it's kind of that here. I mean, you know, so you've got, you know, these people from, you know, th these different areas, but it's all within five, 10 minutes of each other. Uh, and it's, it's, it, that again, Max, they've been great. Uh, I've been very well received. Um, we live kind of in between Robertsdale and Loxley. We've got a Loxley address, but it's, it's kind of, you know, we're not in the city limits of either one. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a, I, I think the people are, it's a blue collar area that's growing, you know, because anything in, in Baldwin County right now is growing. Um, but it is, it's a farming community. It has it traditionally that that's what it's been. Um, and, and it's, it's just people that are, they're just genuine and, um, you know, just, you know, I, you know, that phrase salt of the earth folks, but I mean, they're, they're just genuine folks that there's not a whole lot of, they're not a whole lot of plastic people around here. Everybody's pretty, pretty much the real deal. What you see is what you get. Nobody's trying to, you know, no, nobody's trying to, to, to put on airs about themselves and, and, and whatnot. And I, and I like that, you know, that, that's, that's good to be around, um, you know, that it's just a, I, I do think it's an area that is, that feels like, um, I'm not going to say they've been neglected. Maybe some people would say that, but uh, I, I think they've, they certainly feel like, you know, they've been shortchanged to a degree uh, with regard to, and certainly from a, from a football perspective. And I think there's, like I said, I think there's a bit of cynicism. And uh, I, I, did, I spoke to the uh, the class of 61, uh, had a reunion this past weekend, and they asked me to, to come and say a few words. And um, they were, they, they, these people are, you know, 79, 80, 81 years old, and, and they were um, very, very gracious, but, but also – you know, very proud of the fact that they went to Robertsdale High School and, and very much concerned about, um, you know, the product that we're going to put on the field. And, and, uh, and, and, and there is, there's a great deal of pride um, in the high school from, from the people that, that, that went here. And there's still, there are an awful lot of people in this area that, I mean, we're talking go back generations that, that graduated from Robertsdale High School. Um, you know, and that's in all those municipalities I was talking about, all those communities that they, they've been in here and, and, uh, are, they're, they're entrenched in this community. And so that, that's, that's neat. And, um, uh, you know, so we're, we're still, my wife has been, she's, she's teaching in Decatur, finishing out the year, uh, Friday will be her last day up there. So I've been batching it most of the time during the week and that, that's not been fun, but, um, 
so I'm anxious to get her back in town. But uh, I think, you know, just we, we've enjoyed what little bit we've been able to do together. Um, you know, they, they've got um, you know, just, just a lot of neat small town things that, that, that you're going to do. And, and then the good thing is, is you got, you know, Robertsdale's got things they're going to do. Loxley has things they're going to do. And Silver Hill has things they're going to do. And so it's fun to, to be able to access, you know, all, right. all of the areas that we have down here. That's cool. Let's let's talk about some on field stuff. So y'all, we already mentioned you you ascend into seven A, uh, into Region One with I'm just going to go alphabetical order here uh, with Alma Bryant, Baker, Daphne, Davidson, Fairhope, Foley, MGM, Mary Montgomery, and you guys. What do you know about this region? Since I mean you're kind of new down there, what do you know about the region? Um, uh, not enough. I'm trying to, I've been diving, <laughs> trying to get film from people. Um, and very athletic. You know, I, I think when you look yeah. at, at the, at, at the teams down here, and even when, when, when we were up in Birmingham, you, you knew that you know, as you got down towards Mobile, you were going, you were going to have, there wasn't going to be a shortage of athletes. And, uh, so I think you've got, um, you know, you, you've got a lot of, you know, a lot of athleticism. I think you've got, you know, you've got, you know, solid coaching across the board. Yeah. Um, you've got, you know, programs that, you know, Daphne certainly got a rich history, Fairhope Foley's got a rich history and, uh, you know, and then, you know, MGM certainly the last couple of years has, has been greatly improved um, undefeated mm-hmm. last year until I forget who knocked them out. Baker, you know, you know, very, very, you know, solid. I, I've got, you know, there, there's, I've got a little bit of film now. Robert still played MGM last year. Uh, so I've got, I've got film of, of, of us against them. Um, but it's, and, and, and I, I've got, you know, there's, uh, we played Alma Bryant last year. So, so got, you know, you got that. So, you know, I, I've been able to see a little bit, um, you know, the, the big thing though is I, I'm, I'm more worried about, I can't even worry about who we're playing right now. We, we've got so much stuff that we just have to get cleaned up with ourselves. And, um, you know, before we, you know, before we talk about beating anybody else, we just got to, we got to make sure we're not beating ourselves. And that's, um, sure. you know, and, and again, we, we made some progress this spring with that, but we still, uh, this summer is going to be critical. I mean, just, just to, to continue. Cause like I said, I, I think we're, we're laying the groundwork. I mean, the foundation is being, is being set. And we don't want to, it's one of those deals where we can't, we're not in a position to relax at all. Mm-hmm. And um, it, it um, to be able to, and, and, and we don't, you know, here, here's the thing. While our numbers are down, um, we, we've got, you know, I, we've got some athletes in our program. And um, I, I'm not, I'm not looking at us and saying, oh my gosh, we just, you know, these guys can't walk and chew gum. I mean, we've got guys that 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 are going to be able to play. We've got good size. I mean, shoot, I've got I've got a couple linemen that are they're, that are bigger and move as well as anybody I've ever coached. I've got you know oh. Waylon Williams is a, he'll be an eleventh grader, and, and Waylon is six five, you know, three hundred and thirty plus pounds, and 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 moves. I mean, it's, it's not like he's a you know he's he's not a he's not a slug at all. I mean, he, he's got, you know, that's one thing we're out there and, you know, he, he played some last year. I, mean, I, I probably would have played him more, but I, we were doing some stuff, you know, just some agility work when I first got here and he plays basketball and I, I watched him on the court a little bit, but um, I'm just watching him. We, we were doing a, uh, just doing the five ten five, and I'm watching him run and watching him change direction. And I'm thinking, man, this guy, I mean, I, I've not coached anybody, you know, at the high school level that that's got his size and his moving as well as yeah. he does. Uh, and mm-hmm. that's, that's 30 years of, of, of you know, plus a coach in high school. I mean, I've coached some kids in college that, that have had that, but nobody in high school. We've got another young man, uh, Mason Zolzer, who's going to be a senior. Mason's, I mean, shoot, he's 6'4 plus, maybe 6'5. He's 275, 285 pounds, and oh, has not played a whole lot. Um, and they're going to be doing some, if, 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 if the noise gets bad, let me know. Um, oh, you're they're doing some work in the locker room. The county's in doing some work in the locker room. So I don't want to, Some, I don't want hey, to progress. Some, but, some uh, our stuff starts like that, that's it, you know, that's it. but he's, I mean, he's got great numbers in the weight room and, and, uh, 
you know, again, moves well. And we've got some kids that, that, um, that can play. And, and I, you know, we just got, we got to make sure we've got them in the right spot. We've got to make sure we're, 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 we're doing things that they're capable of doing. And, um, you know, I'm excited uh, about what we have. It's, it's just, uh, again, I'd like to have more. Of course, you know, I've, we, we've been the last couple of weeks in, in Sunday school, we've been studying Gideon. So it, uh, I think the Lord's kind of prepping me. Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, wean this thing down a little bit uh, before we start building it up. But uh, I'm, I'm thinking, Lord, I, you know, you don't need to wean it down quite that much. But uh, the, uh, but it, you know, we're, we're going to get there. It, it's just, we got a good freshman group um, that that's coming up. And, and, and so, you know, I, I do think, um, you know, certainly I, I, I'm glad that we're seven day. I, I, I think I, I, I missed, and this has nothing to do and it sounds so arrogant. I don't mean it to be, but I just, I, 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 and I told, I missed that area that the region we were in in Birmingham, I had great coaches, um, and not that, not that we didn't have great coaches up in Scottsboro, but there's, I just, there's something about, you know, when you, when you're playing and football's football, no matter what, but, you know, I, I just, there, there was a, I don't know, just, there was just something different. I, I felt like, you know, to a degree. And so I'm excited to get back to, to the seven, a level. Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's 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 the top of the top. It's the best of the best, and supposed and to be, yeah, that's supposed to be. And yeah. I mean, you know, you're a coach, which means you're a competitor, and you want to be a part of it. Yeah, you know. And that There's was one. In fact, one of the reasons that I, I was hesitant to go to Scottsboro. That was one of them. I was like, man, do I really want to? I mean, I'm, you know. That, that Birmingham region, it, it doesn't, you know, it ain't going to get a whole lot better than that. It's uh, <laughs> just week in and week out. And, uh, you know, and, 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 and while there are times when, you know, you're coaching and you're like, man, I sure would like to be able to just kind of exhale for a week, you know, and, and, right. and, and there you can. And, and for us, you know, we, we, we really can't, you know, we open with Chickasaw and they're small, you know, they're a small program, but, Man, we can't take anybody lightly. I mean, we've lost 24 yeah. games in a row. There ain't, you know, look, if we were playing the little sisters of the poor, I, it, you know, we, we might as well be playing Alabama or Auburn. It, it uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we, we've got to, uh, we, we've got to treat everybody with the utmost respect because, uh, you know, we're, we're fighting and scratching for absolutely everything, but, uh, but I am, I'm looking forward to it. You know, coach Carter, Fairhope, I've known him, you know, we, we competed against him our first year in the playoffs. Um, yeah. and when he was at Auburn, I was at Oak mountain back in 12, um, enjoy him. Thank a lot of him. I've uh, had, had opportunity to meet coach King and, and, uh, I've known Bart at, at Alma Bryant for a long yeah. time and, you know, and, and, and just getting, you know, getting a feel we had i do we had the, the couple of weeks back maybe about a month ago uh we did a, a a deal with the county and so you got to to get out and, and see everybody in the county you know coaching wise and i do I, I think you know there seems to be a camaraderie here i thought we had that at birmingham that was the one thing when, when i was up in north alabama because so you're, you're you're traveling a little bit further to play right. there was there was it was it was tougher maybe for for the coaches to feel like there was that connection and, and look, sure. you know, Mark Freeman is one of my best friends and, and um, you know, I, Chris Yeager, I mean, we played, I want to beat their brains out, but man, I, I just enjoy, you know, hanging out with them, talking with them, coach Anderson when, when, when he was still coaching. I mean, to me that that's, that's fun. You know, you know, Josh, when, when, when he was at Hoover, I, you know, I just really enjoyed those relationships. And so it, um, I'm looking forward to establishing some new ones with these guys. And again, I've got some with, 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 with some of the guys that are down here, but it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's been great to this point. And, and, um, you know, it, it uh, you know, Chase Smith at Spanish Ford, Chase and I've known each other for a while. Now we don't play them, you know, right now, which is fine. <laughs> we, we've got enough, enough, enough tough ones on the schedule. We don't need to add any more right now, but, uh, but we're going to get to the point where I'd like to get them back on the schedule and, and, um, you know, do some things, but that's, that's what makes it fun. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, I'm going to run through this schedule real quick. So, non-region games, like you said, you open with Chickasaw August 23rd. Alberta on August 30th looks like September 27 you go to Orange Beach so maybe you'll get to put your feet in the sand for a minute there uh 
And then, I hope uh, it's not my back in the sand. It, 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 you know, I don't want my back or rear end of the sand. It, <laughs> my feet need to be it. I have to, I have to then, see Wade. Wade needs to take it easy. I'm, I'm going to tell Wade, don't practice that week. Y'all just take the week off. You know, send your ninth graders, or ninth graders out there. And yeah. we'll after. Tell you what, he, he landed on his feet after the, the, the or, ordeal up, up at Hoover. I mean, it's he like you go to a 4A school, but you're going to Orange Beach that is uh, pouring into that program. And they absolutely we'll see, are. We'll yeah. see how long they stay 4A, honestly. Yeah. So that's a that's a cool schedule. And then, I mean, yeah, a lot of these, obviously, the 7A Region 1 games, you open at home with, with Foley. Then yeah, and at- that's, you know, that's a big game for these people. I, that's one thing. I, yeah. It's funny. We, we were at um, – this was shortly after I got the job. It may have been – when was it? It, may, it was probably – I'd probably been at it two, maybe two weeks, maybe not. But we were um, – my wife – was we we were we were shopping. We, she she was down and it, gosh, it may have been it may have been that first weekend that that I got it. We were um we were at the outlet mall and Kim was picking something up and um, the sales lady there. Uh, of course, you know that you're in Foley right there. The sales lady, yeah. you know, she's asking. You know, we're just making small small talk and you know where are you from and you know we we're just moving down here. And, um, well, you know, you know, my husband's going to be the new coach at Robertsdale. Well, she's at Foley. She's and she's like, oh, we don't like Robertsdale, and the people here say the same thing. So it's it's uh, so it'll be fun. I know they haven't played for a couple of years, but it, it, it's fun to have those ball games. You know, where yes. there is a little bit of you know there is a little bit of hatred. You know that that yeah. uh, amongst the communities and, and animosity. I like and, it. You know, it it it, it it'll be uh, it'll be good. We had a couple of those at Scottsboro that were fun. Where we you know it, it uh, and, and Oak Mountain, Oak Mountain, Spain Park, and, and Oak Mountain Chelsea. You know, those those are fun to be a part of. So I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely, that's they are crazy. I think so. I hope yeah, you know, we'll try it. I don't know. No, you're you're, you're good. Well, now. we're 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 just about done. I, I wanted to ask you, uh, just being a, being at a new place that that has had had some struggles and that kind of thing as a coach like this fall what what will you look forward to the most uh when when august 23rd rolls around well again just the opportunity to play and and, and see where we are but i think that you know the, the thing that you know it, it, it is you know coach saban says it's, it's process 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 what i look forward to the most is just watching us just seeing the daily improvement and you know the challenge is as a coach is to be able to not allow your frustrations to blind you to the success that's going on but you may not it may not be quite as visible at the time and so and then I think the biggest thing I'm looking for, and obviously, you know, I, 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 you know when, we, when we get a win and, and we'll get one at some point, you know, I, just I, I want to see how our kids react and see the joy. But more so, I just want to see the light come on just to where they – this is what being a high school football player is all about. And I'm just playing and, and seeing, you know, because you want to see them play with, with, with a great deal of love, a great deal of joy. Now there's a lot of times football ain't that we don't love a lot of things that go on, but when you get out there on Friday nights and the lights are on, the band's playing, you know, mom and daddy up in the stands, that little old girlfriend of yours is up in the stands. And, every, you know, when, 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 when that happens and you see just the excitement, like just before a ball game and you see them and kids all get ready for games in different ways, but you just, as you, as you get to know the kids and, you know, I was a guy that was, that was real quiet, but, intense and focused you had other guys that were you know that were a little more animated but either way you just see and you know man there's no place they they'd rather be that's what i'm looking for i want to see that in their eyes and in their faces that's what's most fun to me fired me up 
Well, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. That's that's awesome. Man, that's cool. I appreciate you, Coach. Well, Gary, I appreciate you. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, I wish I wish like my coverage area and our, you know Kyle and all of us. I wish our coverage area could be like the whole state. But uh, well, pretty. You know. We're gonna get to a point where we're gonna start scheduling some games with some folks up there. I, you know, let's I go, tell Mark. You know, I said, Mark, right now is like, hey, you want to play? I said, Mark, give me a minute, man. <laughs> Let, let's get this thing built. But we 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 get to. The, you know, we're going to get to the point where, uh, you know, we'll, we'll play anybody anywhere and, and we'll get after it, but uh, we'll, we'll try to get yeah. up there. And, and uh, that'd be so awesome. We'll do. That'd, be, that'd be great. That'd be, yeah, that'd be fantastic. You know, you know, all the coaches up here, get, get one on the schedule, get you a little two year home and home. And, we need uh, to do that. We need to do that. That'd be awesome. Well, I appreciate you, coach. It was great to catch up and uh, we'll be, We'll certainly be be watching uh, and seeing these improvements down here at Robertsdale. Well, Gary, I appreciate you. And the holler, if we can do anything for you, and thank you, just really from the bottom of my heart, all that y'all do for high school athletics. It is, I tell our kids, I've, I've, since the day I stepped foot in Alabama, they don't realize how fortunate they are to have the media presence that we do, just the – the fact that it's important because there are a lot of kids playing high school football across this country that would kill to be able to play in, in, in the environments that our kids get to play in and, and to get the attention that we get. And uh, you all just y- – y'all have played such a huge role in that. So thank you for yeah. the for asking for no, I, I appreciate it. We uh, – you yeah. know, I, I, when I first started out in, in journalism, you know, it – it morphed into covering anything and everything, you know, not just sports, but sports was always the number one thing for me. And it was always, you know, uh, there, there were, I think was it six words, you know, like six key words. It was get kids names in the paper, Yeah, you know, and that's, that's the key. And uh, you know, these days it might be more get kids names on Twitter or right. whatever, but they still either way, the, yeah. E- either way, the the uh, the sentiment is is the same, and uh, we love to do it. Well, we appreciate y'all. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate you. All right, Gary. Thank you. You take care now. Have a good time. Right, you summer. too. All you right. do the same. Thank you, Bye. Coach. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>